Good morning, everyone. I hope that all of you have joined this online class, which is being conducted by DAV Public School Transport Nagar for the very first time. I, Ritu Saxena, congratulate you for passing the exam without appearing in it. Well, let's begin our new session with this interesting online classes you know internet and uh, online education has tremendous opportunities i may say it has opened the door to the learning that is very interesting and you can learn without any hurdles hurdles there may be little bit hurdles but that could be overcome since you are very smart and uh, you are uh, techno savvy you are handling the mobile uh, you are uh, 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 computer savvy and now since you people were were doing these things with for the entertainment only but now this is the time when we can put all these things into knowledge exploration mobile is very tempting you know distracting but here this is the testing time that we have to remain focused on what we are going to study for 50 minutes now onwards i'll be discussing so many things that you will find useful i will try to give you a direction to study to begin our science chapter first chapter is nutrition in living organisms living organisms now from the past 6 7 years or since standard 1 you are knowing what living organism is i need not explain this i suppose i presume that you already know that so could you please ready with your pencil pen paper so that you can keep on writing few notes because i will be pausing the videos so that you can write what you have learnt so far got it so dear children without wasting much of the time uh, let's uh, begin the chapter and if there uh, if you will go through it and find any question that needs to be answered uh, i will try to answer your questions you will put your question in writing here and if anything is required uh, even after the session is over you can put the question in the whatsapp group or uh, on this platform only and um, let's begin let's see what is your experience and my experience it's going to be uh, interesting i suppose and soon enough we will meet in the classroom we will see each other hail and healthy so here is the first chapter nutrition in plant that requires the understanding of nutrition food you know is essential for all living organisms we also learned that carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals are all important components of our food these components of food are necessary for our body and are called nutrients okay these nutrients enable living organism to build their bodies to grow to repair damaged parts of the bodies and to provide energy to carry out all the life processes after watching the whole video you will be able to describe the nutrition and nutrients you will be able to describe 
modes of nutrition that is autotropic and heterotropic photosynthesis raw material for photosynthesis and product of photosynthesis are compound in foods essential to life and health providing us with energy the building blocks for repair and growth and substances necessary to regulate chemical processes there are six major nutrients that we have studied in standard 6 that is carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins minerals and water since plants too are living organism plants need nutrients for the same reason that animals need them they need them to germinate grow fight off diseases and pests and to reproduce plants need nutrients for the same reason that animals need them they need them to germinate grow fight off diseases and pests and to reproduce like animals nutrients are needed in larger smaller traces amount for the plants to stay healthy what is the importance of nutrients you know the nutrients enables living organism to build their bodies to grow to repair damaged part of the bodies to provide the energy to carry out the life processes according to your textbook that is your dav textbook nutrients can be defined as the components of food which are necessary for our body and here in this case for the plants so here we go nutrition is defined as the processes by which an animal or plant takes in and utilizes food substances just like we eat food and we use it for our daily food essential in nutrients include protein carbohydrate fat vitamins minerals and electrolytes modes of nutrition means that how a, an uh, a living organism eats food or take food autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition are the two ways which plant take in the nutrition and here we go right from the childhood time from the class 3 4 we are reading we are learning autotrophic mode of nutrition that photosynthesis how plant prepare their own food in the presence of sunlight we have heard of plants we are always knowing that plants are autotrophic but there are plants which are heterotrophic heterotrophic means they are not uh, capable of making their whole food for themselves they have to depend on other plants for their proper growth and nutrition these are
the most basic and rather very easy thing that is photosynthesis in this chapter since you have studied it in standard 6 and 5 so you are well acquainted with this concept of photosynthesis and in front of you this is chemical equation as well as word equation for photosynthesis you can see that carbon dioxide combines with water in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll to form carbohydrate and oxygen As we saw the equation, the raw material for the photosynthesis are water and minerals from the soil, carbon dioxide from the air, sunlight and chlorophyll present in the leaves. Now the question is, how these raw products, raw materials are used up by the plant. As we know that plants has root and they, uh, they absorb water and minerals from the soil by the root hairs. The other raw material for photosynthesis is carbon dioxide. You all know that plants take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and this carbon dioxide enters the leaves through tiny pores present on the surface of the leaves. Uh, remember, uh, we are not able to see these tiny pores and these tiny pores are called stomata. These stomata are surrounded by special cells called guard cells and stomata is useful for exchange of gases. Guard cells are cells surrounding, surrounding each stomata they help to regulate the rate of transpiration by opening and closing of stomata and this slide is the summary of the photosynthesis here we can see how plant produces glucose that is food uh, from carbon dioxide and water in presence of chlorophyll and its equation is there and what is importance of photosynthesis because because of the photosynthesis we get food and we get oxygen to breathe the sunlight is the other raw material for photosynthesis and during photosynthesis plant trap light energy with their leaves you know the sun is the ultimate source of energy and we all directly or indir indirectly depends on sunlight for our life plants use the energy of the sun to change water and carbon dioxide into sugar called glucose chlorophyll is another raw material for photosynthesis it is green color pigment present in the leaves which help in trapping the solar energy to prepare food from carbon dioxide and water by using the raw material when these raw material undergoes chemical change it produces into it converts into carbohydrates some carbohydrates are converted to protein and fats the other byproduct is other product is very useful product is oxygen besides carbon hydrogen and oxygen protein also contains nitrogen but you know from where does the nitrogen come in atmosphere almost 78 percent is nitrogen so this nitrogen is direct is not directly used by the plant it has to be converted into other usable form so that plant can use it.
okay children thank you very much for paying attention i hope you will like the video and if there is any confusion you will you may put it up here and we shall discuss meanwhile keep on revising you can keep the video you can see the video again and again and ask the question thank you thank you very much